What's up guys, Jim here, 1984 Canadian Sailcraft refit video. Here's my boy Tony, here's my other salty crewmate Lila. Anyways, this is our second trip, December 1st. We have some major leaking windows going on. Uh, if you remember, we got some mold and mildew kind of coming up in the funk. And we got to deal with it. But we got some vinegar and if you remember in our last video we poured it in the bilge compartments and it's been sitting and it's time to deal with it so we run and grab something to eat get the dog back up the ladder and then start to pump out all of the standing vinegar that has been in the main bilge compartment We get the main cabin cleaned up, and then we wanted to get this cabin saw out of the boat. Looking at it, it's really flexible, and since I've let this boat sit for so many months, the water underneath it has actually rotted out the entire thing. Now on this cabin sole, you've got these dark spots on here. That's where water has penetrated that wood, and it is totally rotten. So now we've got this cabin sole loaded up, moving on to the big project, the Dirty Bilge. And now all that we're using to clean here is just this bucket of vinegar. We keep switching out with fresh vinegar and a scrub brush.
got all this grime kind of loosened up down here in this bilge compartment and then Tony had a great idea so we brought the hose down and decided to rinse everything out and flush it with a lot more vinegar and a couple drops of odor ban. So Tony is blowing out the drains down in this bilge compartment uh, between each one of these bulkheads. And those are in place to keep water from moving from the front of the boat to the back of the boat too quickly. Now check out where we've put some vinegar and let it sit for a couple hours down in this engine bay. So we want to make sure we get this engine bay really clean and we end up scrubbing it down again and filling it with vinegar because coming up here soon we're going to be doing some fiberglass work down in there and preparing to drop in a newer diesel engine. Now at this point in the day we're really happy with our progress. I mean look at that bilge. That is sparkling clean. You would almost eat off of that. Okay you probably wouldn't eat off of that but it's coming along. Now I'm sure some of y'all saw this coming. One of the major consequences of bringing a hose down below was that we had backsplash and water kind of all over this cabin salon that needed to be dried up by hand. I then headed up to the top deck where I installed this redneck mast boot with just duct tape and trash bags. With the temporary redneck mast boot in place, we moved on to the final project. Now, unlike my last trip, I couldn't afford to purchase any more waterproof tarps, so we went with the next best thing. I purchased these 4x15 painter's drop cloths, and the idea and goal here was to cover the windows that were leaking the most in the boat and try and divert water from leaking into their seams.
so we got all of our tarps in place and got all of our hatches buttoned up and then it was time to head south if you enjoyed this video stay tuned because we've got more coming on this refit for this 1984 canadian sailcraft in our upcoming videos we're going to be redoing the engine bay preparing for a new engine installation and also checking all the electrical systems in the boat hope you enjoyed it if you do go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button thanks for tuning in